What if I told you that everything you see around you, a vibrant world of colors, sounds, and experiences, might just be an illusion? Imagine a reality crafted from light and energy, where the rules of physics bend and twist like a dream. This isn't just a wild theory. It's the astonishing claim made by a brilliant mind who dared to explore the very fabric of our existence. Picture this. A scientist, driven by curiosity, uncovers evidence that our universe is not solid, but a hologram, a projection of consciousness itself. As he shares his groundbreaking findings, the implications ripple through the spiritual and scientific communities alike. Yet, just when he was on the brink of revealing even more, he mysteriously vanished, leaving behind a trail of questions that defy explanation. What happened to him? Was he silenced, or did he transcend to another dimension? As we dive deeper into this mind-bending concept, I invite you to challenge your perception of reality. What if everything you believe is just a layer of illusion? Stick around, because the answers might just transform your understanding of existence itself. Ready to peel back the layers? Let's journey together into the unknown. Holographic theory. You know, the idea that our physical reality might just be a holographic projection is both mind-boggling and strangely appealing. Imagine living in a world where everything you perceive, the colors, the sounds, the very fabric of your existence, is merely a projection of information stored in two dimensions. It's like those 3D movies where you wear glasses to see depth, except in this case, the depth is an illusion created by complex data. This concept challenges everything we think we know about the universe, suggesting that the reality we experience is just a grand illusion, a projection of something far more intricate than we can comprehend. This isn't just a whimsical notion, it's backed by some fascinating experiments in quantum physics. Take the wave-particle duality, for instance. It's like the universe has a quirky sense of humor, where particles can be both waves and particles depending on how you look at them. Then there's Wheeler's experiment, which dives even deeper into the rabbit hole. It implies that the act of observation actually shapes reality. So, in a way, we're not just passive observers of the universe, we're active participants in its creation. This notion fits snugly with the holographic theory, suggesting that our perceptions are just a small slice of a much larger, intricate reality. Moving on to the interpretation of Bekenstein Hawking, this is where things get even more intriguing. It suggests that the information related to black holes isn't lost in their immense gravitational pull, but rather encoded on their surfaces. It's a radical shift in our understanding of how information works in the universe. Instead of being stored in the volume of a black hole, it's as if all the secrets of those cosmic giants are recorded on their event horizons. The implications are staggering. If information can be stored in such a way, could it mean that our own realities are similarly encoded in ways we have yet to fully understand? Then there's the work of David Bohm, who proposed that reality is fundamentally interconnected. His ideas resonate beautifully with the holographic model, suggesting that everything in the universe is part of a greater whole. It's like we're all threads in a vast cosmic tapestry, where every action and thought reverberates throughout the fabric of existence. Bohm's perspective challenges the traditional view of separateness, inviting us to consider that the universe isn't just a collection of isolated entities but rather a unified whole, intricately woven together. As I ponder these concepts, I can't help but feel a sense of wonder mixed with skepticism. The holographic theory isn't just a scientific curiosity, it shakes the very foundations of how we perceive reality. It invites us to question our assumptions and encourages a deeper exploration of the universe and our place within it. What if our understanding of existence is just the tip of the iceberg? What if, beneath the surface, there's a whole new dimension of reality waiting to be uncovered? Impact on Cosmology As I dive into the implications of the holographic theory on cosmology, I find myself both fascinated and bewildered. Imagine a universe where the very fabric of space and time is not as solid as we once believed. The holographic principle suggests that our three-dimensional experience is merely a projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional surface. This fundamentally alters how we perceive the cosmos and raises profound questions about the nature of reality itself. If space and time are merely illusions, what does that mean for our understanding of gravity and the universe's expansion? The concept challenges the conventional view of gravity as a force acting through a tangible medium. Instead, it proposes that gravity emerges from the interplay of information on this surface, reshaping our understanding of how celestial bodies interact. When I think about black holes, 
the idea becomes even more intriguing. If the information about all the matter that falls into a black hole is encoded on its event horizon, then perhaps the very structure of our universe is intricately linked to these enigmatic entities. The implications ripple through time and space, suggesting that everything is interconnected in ways we are only beginning to grasp. Moreover, the holographic model could provide answers to some of the most pressing questions in cosmology, including dark matter and dark energy. If our universe is a projection, could we be misunderstanding the fundamental forces at play? The holographic principle might offer a framework for reconciling the apparent contradictions in our current models of the universe. As I ponder this, I can't help but feel a sense of awe at the sheer complexity and beauty of the cosmos. The shift in perspective also invites us to reconsider the beginning of the universe. If the Big Bang was a projection from a two-dimensional surface, what does that mean for concepts like singularity and cosmic inflation? I find it thrilling to think about how much more there is to discover and understand about our existence and the universe we inhabit. The more we explore these ideas, the more our understanding of reality expands, leading to new frontiers in both science and philosophy. Ultimately, the impact of holographic theory on cosmology pushes us to think beyond our current frameworks. It encourages a re-evaluation of fundamental principles and inspires a sense of curiosity about what lies beyond our perception. As I reflect on these ideas, I can't help but wonder how future generations will interpret our current understanding of the universe and what new revelations await us. Philosophical Implications As I consider the philosophical implications of living in a holographic universe, I find myself grappling with some profound questions. If our reality is a projection, what does that mean for the nature of consciousness? Are we merely observers in a grand design, or do we play an essential role in shaping this projection? The idea that our perceptions might not reflect an objective reality is both thrilling and unsettling. It raises questions about free will, existence, and the essence of what it means to be human. The notion of a holographic universe suggests that everything is interconnected, which resonates with many philosophical traditions. If all beings and experiences are part of a larger whole, how does that affect our understanding of individuality? I ponder how this interconnectedness might influence our ethical considerations. If we are all part of the same hologram, does that change the way we relate to one another and the environment? The implications extend beyond mere theory, touching the core of human experience and morality. Moreover, the holographic perspective challenges the binary distinctions we often draw between reality and illusion. It compels us to reconsider how we define truth and knowledge. Are our perceptions reliable, or are they merely constructs of a more complex reality? This philosophical inquiry invites a deeper exploration of the nature of existence, pushing us to question the validity of our experiences and the frameworks we've built to understand them. Additionally, if consciousness itself is part of this holographic projection, what does that imply about the nature of awareness? I find it fascinating to think that our thoughts and feelings might be integral to the universe's unfolding. This perspective opens up new avenues for understanding human experience, suggesting that our awareness could shape the very fabric of reality in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. Ultimately, the philosophical implications of a holographic universe challenge us to expand our horizons. They invite us to explore the depths of consciousness and existence while reminding us of the intricate web that connects us all. As I reflect on these ideas, I feel a sense of wonder at the mysteries of life and a renewed appreciation for the journey of discovery that lies ahead. The Scientist's Disappearance Now, let's talk about the enigmatic figure who supposedly proved the holographic theory. The Scientist's Disappearance is nothing short of a modern-day mystery, a plot twist that seems almost too strange to be true. As I dig deeper into the circumstances surrounding his vanishing, I can't help but feel a sense of intrigue. Did he uncover something so profound that it threatened established norms? Or was it merely the result of his relentless pursuit of knowledge? Theories abound regarding his disappearance, ranging from government conspiracies to extraterrestrial involvement. As someone who appreciates a good mystery, I find the speculation surrounding his fate captivating. Some claim he was silenced to prevent his findings from disrupting the scientific community, while others suggest he simply chose to leave the world behind seeking solitude after grappling with the implications of his work. The duality of these theories reflects our deep-seated fears and hopes about what lies beyond our understanding. Furthermore, the impact of his disappearance on the scientific community is palpable. It created ripples of doubt and skepticism, 
with some questioning the validity of his research. Others rallied to defend his legacy, arguing that his findings could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. I can't help but wonder how such a dramatic event shapes the trajectory of scientific inquiry and public perception. The scientist's legacy is now intertwined with the very fabric of conspiracy and intrigue. As I explore the narrative surrounding his disappearance, I also think about the role of scientists as both seekers of truth and public figures. The pressure to conform to established theories can be immense, and the fear of backlash from peers often looms large. In this sense, the scientist's fate serves as a cautionary tale about the price of innovation and the complexities of scientific discovery. It raises questions about the responsibilities of scientists and the ethical dilemmas they may face in their pursuit of knowledge. Ultimately, the disappearance of this scientist adds a layer of drama to the already complex narrative of the holographic theory. It reminds us that the pursuit of truth is fraught with challenges and that the quest for understanding can lead to unexpected and sometimes troubling outcomes. As I ponder this mystery, I can't help but feel a sense of urgency to uncover the truths hidden beneath the surface, both in science and in life itself. Reactions from the scientific community When I first stumbled upon the holographic theory, I was captivated, but I quickly realized I wasn't alone in my intrigue. The scientific community has had a roller coaster of responses to this mind-bending idea. Some scientists have cautiously embraced the concept, recognizing its potential to unite various branches of physics. They see it as a revolutionary framework that could explain phenomena in quantum mechanics and cosmology that have long perplexed researchers. The excitement is palpable in some circles, as they envision a future where these theories provide a cohesive understanding of the universe. However, not everyone is on board with this holographic notion. Many physicists and skeptics voice their doubts, arguing that the theory lacks empirical evidence and remains speculative. They question whether we can truly consider the universe as a holographic projection when tangible, observable phenomena in our daily lives seem so blatantly physical. These skeptics stress the importance of rigorous experimentation and data to back up any claim, especially one as grand as the idea that reality is merely a projection. Then there's the matter of the scientist who vanished while exploring this very theory. The disappearance added fuel to the fire of skepticism and conspiracy theories alike. Some in the scientific community believe that the pressures of such a groundbreaking theory, combined with the intense scrutiny from peers, may have overwhelmed him. Others suspect foul play, suggesting that his insights were so revolutionary that they posed a threat to established paradigms. The community is left divided, with some rallying behind the holographic theory and others viewing it as a dangerous distraction. Despite the skepticism, I find it encouraging that the discussions surrounding holography have sparked renewed interest in theoretical physics. Conferences and symposia have begun to feature panels dedicated to the topic, allowing researchers to share their ideas and debate the implications. This dialogue fosters critical thinking and creativity, essential components for any scientific advancement. It's fascinating how a single theory can galvanize so many minds, both in support and in opposition. Ultimately, the varying reactions from the scientific community highlight a fundamental aspect of science, the importance of debate. This back and forth ensures that ideas are rigorously tested, refined, or even discarded. Whether one agrees with the holographic theory or not, it's clear that it has opened up a wealth of questions that could lead to groundbreaking discoveries in our understanding of the universe. Parallels with pop culture It's interesting how the idea of a holographic universe has permeated pop culture, often in ways that resonate with our collective fears and aspirations. Movies like The Matrix and Inception bring the idea of reality as an illusion into the mainstream, capturing the imagination of audiences worldwide. In The Matrix, we see characters grappling with the notion that their perceived reality is a complex digital simulation, a concept that mirrors the holographic theory's assertion that our universe might be a projection of information encoded on a distant surface. These films do more than entertain. They provoke deeper philosophical inquiries about our existence. They echo the scientific debates surrounding the nature of reality, consciousness, and what it means to be human. The success of such films indicates that there is a widespread appetite for stories that challenge our understanding of reality, suggesting that the holographic theory strikes a chord with our cultural zeitgeist. Books and television series have also dabbled in these themes, often blurring the lines between science fiction and scientific theory. Titles like Dark and Westworld explore concepts of free will, predetermined outcomes, and the fabric of reality itself, all while hinting at the kinds of complexities we encounter in discussions about the holographic universe. 
These narratives allow us to engage with profound questions in an accessible way, making the topic resonate with a broader audience. Moreover, the artistic interpretation of these ideas can inspire future scientists. Young minds watching these films may grow curious about the underlying science, potentially leading them to careers in physics or related fields. There is a symbiotic relationship between science and art, and the holographic theory serves as a perfect bridge connecting the two. As I reflect on this cultural fascination, I can't help but wonder how many people are unknowingly influenced by these narratives. The stories we tell can shape our understanding of complex scientific ideas, making them more digestible and relatable. In a sense, pop culture becomes a powerful vehicle for exploring the intricacies of human existence, even if those intricacies are rooted in speculative science. Future Research and Challenges As I ponder the future of holographic theory, I can't help but feel both excitement and trepidation. The scientific community faces a daunting task in proving or refuting this concept, especially given the abstract nature of the claims involved. One of the most significant challenges lies in finding empirical evidence that supports the notion that our three-dimensional experience is merely a projection of two-dimensional information. Various experimental methods might be employed, but the subtleties involved in quantum mechanics make this no small feat. One avenue of exploration could involve advancements in observational technology, such as more sensitive detectors or improved computational models. Scientists could potentially glean more insights from cosmic phenomena, such as the behavior of black holes or gravitational waves. These observations may yield data that either supports or challenges the holographic model, making the search for answers both thrilling and nerve-wracking. Another challenge is the interdisciplinary nature of the research needed to investigate holography. It requires collaboration among physicists, mathematicians, philosophers, and even computer scientists to fully understand and explore the implications of the theory. Bridging these diverse fields can be complex, as each discipline has its own language, methodologies, and paradigms. Finding common ground will be essential for the advancement of research. Moreover, any breakthroughs will likely come with their own set of controversies and debates. The scientific community is often resistant to change, especially when established theories are at stake. If the holographic theory gains traction, it could lead to intense discussions about the implications for existing frameworks in physics. Will it upend our understanding of gravity, space, and time? How will it affect our interpretations of quantum mechanics? These questions are not just academic, they have profound implications for how we view our place in the universe. In the end, the journey of exploring holographic theory is as important as the destination. The questions it raises, the collaborations it fosters, and the debates it ignites are all part of the scientific process. Although the challenges are significant, they may ultimately lead to a deeper understanding of reality, one that could forever change our perception of the universe and our role within it. As we dive deeper into this mind-bending concept, it's crucial to ask ourselves, what does it really mean for our reality to be a hologram? Imagine peeling back the layers of your everyday life, revealing that everything you perceive is just a projection of your consciousness. The implications are staggering. What if the limits you've placed on yourself are merely illusions? What if you hold the power to reshape your reality? Think about the rituals and practices we've explored, each one a key to unlocking different dimensions of existence. Are you ready to step beyond the veil? As we wrap up, I invite you to reflect, have you ever had a moment where everything felt surreal? That brief glimpse into the extraordinary could be your spirit nudging you to explore further. Let's build a community around this exploration. Share your thoughts in the comments. What experiences have you had that made you question reality? And don't forget to hit that like button if you found value in today's journey. Remember, the universe has an incredible way of revealing itself to those who seek. So, keep questioning, keep exploring, and let's continue this adventure together. Until next time, stay curious and keep shining your light.